Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. April showers may come your way. They bring the flowers that bloom in May. Wondering where Granger students are getting tacos every quarter? Let's hear from fellow students on how they got their taco tickets. I earned free tacos from going to class every day and getting good grades. I earned tacos from getting high honor roll from turning work in on time. Taco Truck is part of Lancer Rewards and is given to students who earn a 3.5 or higher. With GTV, this is Whitney Remington. Today is a bright and early morning at Granger High School, and today we're going to be talking about the ACT with a few of our fellow juniors. Let's see what they had to say. What I thought was going to be the hardest was science, but it actually turned out being the easiest. Now that I took the test, I thought it was a little overwhelming at first, but after, it was all right. Uh, yeah, I'm not nervous about finding out my test score. I feel like I did pretty good, and uh, I'm excited to find out what my test score is. What was the hardest and the easiest one in the ACT? Well, in my opinion, the hardest one was waking up early, you know, seeing everybody and, like, looking for the class, you know. Like, it was the hardest one. Right, but the easy part was the t I like for me. I got lucky. I got the, I got easy. I got easy teacher. Teacher was chill, you know. But the hardest was the ACT. It was boring. The test overwhelming. Yes, it was. You know, it was stress on myself and my friends because as an Asian descendant, like my family is very serious on the ACT. They want me to go to college. They want me to be the doctor. You know, and so it's very stressful to my family. But as for me, you know, I'm not that stressful. Like since I, since I'm just I'm chilling. But overall, yeah, it was a good experience. It was a good good and reliable experience. Just my family was stressed, you know, but other than that, that's pretty much it. With ACT finally over, relief is in the air. My name is Manny, reporting for GTV. Good morning, Granger. We're here to talk about the new Hall Pass policy. First, let's talk about Hall Pass expectations. You may only use the Hall Pass when a teacher has given you permission. You may use the Hall Pass for no more than 10 minutes. That means 10 minutes or less. A teacher may request that you leave your cell phone in the classroom to use the hall pass. The hall pass may be used for you to go to the designated bathroom that matches your hall pass color, getting a drink, going to the library, office, or counseling center. The hall pass is not for wandering the halls. Hall pass abuse. Doing any of the following may lead you to losing your hall pass privileges. Abusing the hall pass includes the following. Using the hall pass for over 10 minutes. Using the hall pass to go to the wrong bathroom or hallway. Talking on the cell phone. The hall pass is not a cell phone pass. Meeting with other students in the hall or bathroom. Being loud in the halls, including yelling, playing music, or whistling is not acceptable or using the hall pass too frequently. You shouldn't use the hall pass more than once a class period, and you shouldn't use it every class period. The consequences for not using the hall pass properly are, first, a warning. A teacher will give you a warning and remind you about proper hall pass use. After the second offense, the teacher will contact 
a parent or guardian about your misuse of the hall pass. After the third offense, the teacher will notify the office and the student advocate will meet with your parent or guardian about your repeated hall pass abuse. This could lead you to using the use of the hall pass for that class period. This hall pass policy is starting now. So make sure you use the hall pass correctly. Have a good one, Granger. Hey there, Lancers. I hope you had a fabulous spring break. You were missed. And it's good to be back as we start fourth quarter. This is crunch time for the whole school year. Today's message is most specifically for my ninth and 10th graders, the freshmen and sophomores. You've actually got your Aspire Plus testing coming up in just a few short weeks. Now, for those who don't know, this is a lot like the RISE testing that you've done at the end of every school year where you um, take a test to be able to demonstrate how good and accomplished you've become in your math, science, and language arts. Um, I like to set the goal on each and every one of these tests to simply set a new personal best. So this week during one of your second period classes, you'll be given a card that is a goal sheet for you. It shows how you performed on the math, science, and language arts test last year. And it's on a one, two, three, four scale. Well, one, two, three, four with some decimal points. So you might have a 2.78 or a 3.12. That shows your score last year that you're trying to beat this year. It doesn't matter if you're better or worse than your best friends or your brothers or sisters or your parents were. Um, the whole goal is can you set a new personal best and beat where you were a year ago? I'll give them to you this week, and that way you can look them over, put them up in the fridge, be thinking about them over the next two weeks. But on the week of April 17th through the 21st, that's when you'll actually be taking those tests. Some you'll take in your class. Some you'll do on that Friday, April 21st. But for each of those, we'll reprint those um, goal sheets so that you have a fresh copy. And that way, while you're taking the test, you know exactly what your score is to beat. Good luck to our freshmen and sophomore. It's crunch time, especially for you. And for all our Lancers, fourth quarter is really the final act and the best time to hit your stride in the school year. Good luck, Lancers. Congratulations to the Granger artists who won at the District Art Olympics. We won six awards in total. Amy Van took second place in Mixed Media and in People's Choice. Gabby Munoz took third place for Best in Show for 2D. Juan Diego took first place in Drawing from Life. Finally, Emma Roop took first place for Sculpture. And Sophia Estrada took first in 3D overall in the art exhibit. Again, a big congratulations to everyone who placed and a big thank you to everyone who helped, competed, and came to support. April showers may come your way. They bring the flowers that bloom in May. So if it's raining, have no regrets because it isn't. Sing hail to the aroma mater, its memory so dear. The crimson, red, the blue, and gray will ever proudly linger here. Then go ye Lancers, here's the answer, aim for victory. Your royal name will rise to fame, upholding liberty. With heads held high, our triumphs reach the sky. We'll honor and cherish forever, dear Granger High.